How to work the chest with kettlebells. So you want to hit the chest muscle, right? How are you going to do it with kettlebells? Our first option, if you don't have a bench, is to go on the floor. So going in our lying position, taking our kettlebells, you want to kind of start as if you're just letting them sit on your lap, palms facing towards you, right? Simply laying back, letting them come out to the side, just like we do with our shoulder press, which you can check out in a later video. And we're simply going to press up until the kettlebell is directly above our shoulder. Now you want to be safe and have a good grip on the kettlebell. Don't bring them together. You don't want to clank them because in doing so, you're putting a little bit more pressure on the shoulder joint. You want to have it just above you, right? Back down in a controlled manner. Just lightly tap the floor. Back up. Going up quick and explosively. Controlled down. Exhaling, inhaling the way down. Now, if you have a bench, you're going to get a little bit more range of motion. So, same form, right? Laying back down, bringing them around. And this way, you can let the elbows drop below the rib cage. That way, you're hitting more of the chest muscle. You could also go a little bit wider out, and we're going to go in an arcing motion. So by doing it on a bench, you're able to get more range of motion throughout the chest. That more range of motion is going to hit more muscle fiber. More muscle fiber is going to increase the size, the strength, and the stability also of the shoulder. So if you can, go ahead and use the bench. If you can't, don't worry about it, don't sweat it. If you get your sweat on, get a good workout in, and have fun. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and like and subscribe below. If you have any questions, Leave them in the comment box below. I'd be happy to answer them as soon as I can. Check me out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And also come back and check out WallStreetTrainer.com.